Hello friends. Today we are going to do some simple science experiments to teach the concept of air pressure to our daughter. We know this is little early for her, but we'll be doing this in a fun way so that she can enjoy it and gets amazed by the beauty of science. We are going to do six simple experiments for which we do not need any special tool or equipment. These are all based on the phenomena of air pressure. So let's get started. For the first experiment, we need a tray, tissue paper, some glasses, candle, match stick, and some water. We need to make the tissue wet and then place it in the tray. Now on the wet tissue, we need to put a candle and light it. And now see the beauty. So what happens here is that the fire uses all the oxygen available in the glass and once it consumes all the available oxygen, the flame extinguishes. The hot air now cools down and starts contracting and tries to pull the wet napkin which creates a suction and the glass gets stuck with the tray. The outside air pressure is more and there is a vacuum in the glass so the glass can now lift the tray. The force is so strong that even if we put some more weight on the tray, the glass is able to lift all up. This is the same thing as the suction hooks. For the little ones, we can just tell them that it, this happens because of the air pressure difference inside and outside the glass. For the second experiment, we need a glass bottle, a boiled egg and match sticks. Lit two match sticks and put them inside the bottle. Then place the egg on top. Here again when the match stick stops burning, the hot air tries to cool down which creates contraction and then sucks the egg inside the bottle. It looks like some magical force is pulling the egg inside. For the third experiment, we need glass bottle, match sticks and a balloon. Lit two match sticks and put them inside the bottle. Once the fire diminishes, put the balloon on top and see how powerful our balloon has become. This is again based on the same suction phenomena, which our intelligent kids can easily predict now. For the fourth experiment, we just need a glass, water and a coaster. Fill half the glass with water and place the coaster on top. Flip it and see the magic. This again happens because of the air pressure that is put from outside air against the pressure put by the water from inside. The outside air pressure is more than the pressure of the water, so the coaster is held against the glass. Amazing, right? For the fifth experiment, we just need a bottle with a small opening and a piece of paper. Roll the paper and make a small ball, little smaller than the size of opening of the bottle. Place it in the bottle opening and challenge your kids to blow it inside the bottle. It seems pretty easy, right? But then comes the great Bernoulli's principle which also makes the plane fly, but that theory is for another day. So as per Bernoulli's principle, the faster the air, the lower the pressure. So when we blow, the air goes inside the bottle and as the size there is bigger, so the speed becomes slow and the pressure increases, which throws the paper ball outside. So for the last experiment, we need two balloons and some string. Tie the string to the balloons and hang them till the nose level and around 6 inches apart. Then ask your kid to blow hard in between the balloons. What were you expecting? The balloons will go away, correct? But we just learned the Bernoulli's principle. 
Yes, it's the same faster air lower pressure drag. So when we blow hard, the air speed is more and the pressure is less. So the outside air pushes the balloons inside. So after doing all these amazing experiments, your kids will surely be excited about the concept of air pressure and you too. So stay tuned for more such science experiments to learn some fun facts. Do press the subscribe button if you have not done that already. Keep watching. Oh, <laughs> yo,